the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince. Brought to you by Gate City Bank and Pepsi. Welcome into the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince. I'm Rob Pipp. Coach, here we are. Playoffs just yeah. on the horizon. And uh, we talk about the Bison being a number three seed. And before we talk about the playoffs, just wanted to look back as the Bison into that regular season, nine and two overall, eight and one in the Valley with the dominant performance over UND last week, 42 to 21 in that victory. Uh, just how special was that game, especially for those 13 seniors, Coach? Well, I think it's, it's you only get one senior game. And so it's special. Uh, there's been a lot of hard work and, and effort and energy and, and relationships that have been built with our senior class, not just amongst themselves, but with our coaching staff. Um, and I think as a program, we always want our seniors to go out on top. Uh, this is a, a senior-driven team. It's a player-led team. And those guys are critical to our, our performance and, and to our daily environment. Well, football continuing for them, and we talked about that number three seed here to enter in. Just how important is that number three seed getting that extra, you know, the extra week to prepare as well, Coach? Right. I don't, yeah, I don't know if it's the three seed or if it's just being seeded mm -hmm. is important um, to set yourself up to have a have a few days to, to recharge, regroup, kind of recalibrate, um, but also to, to get a head start on, on potential one of two opponents that you might be seeing. And, and that's exactly what we're trying to do here this first week leading into game week next week. I know that you take every game 1-0, but a full season. Do you kind of consider this now a new season? A little bit. You say the second season. Uh, each each game's a season right now because it's it's one and done at this time. And so uh, you got you got to be prepared. You, you need to stay healthy. Um, and you got to do a great job with your preparation uh, all week long. Does it also help a little bit? You know, you've got a full season now of video on opponents. Does that kind of help once you get this far oh, late in the season? You know, I think sometimes, uh, I think some coaches would say yes. I probably say uh, it helps as long as you use it the right way. Uh, there can become paralysis by analysis. Uh, when you try to stop everything, uh, I think you don't stop anything defensively. Uh, you got to take away what teams are good at. You got to take advantage of maybe what they've struggled with. Um, and so you got to be really careful about trying to overuse too much information. For your players, just how special is the postseason every year? Well, I, I think we've been fortunate here. Uh, it's always exciting to see the, the level of play uh, get ramped up. Uh, it's exciting to, to be back in the Fargo Dome. It's a, it's a tremendous venue with, with great home field advantage. And um, throughout my going on almost 10 years now, uh, it, we've been really fortunate to play a lot of home playoff games. And uh, it's always a special place to play. And when our crowd gets in it, um, it, it it's, it's, it's really unique. We talk a lot about just the postseason, the success there. We'll mention that in a minute. But just how special is it for the university, and how does it help promote the university? Well, I think anytime uh, you, your games are televised, especially on a uh, you know ESPN or you know whatever uh, network it might be, um, again, it's it's free it's free publicity to the university, not just not just the football program, but to the university. And all of a sudden, uh, there's a general student out there somewhere. Uh, get intrigued by a commercial or by you know the Fargo Dome and the support we have or I mean it, it, so uh, I, I think it's it, it, it's a great piece of marketing for our university. Something we talk about nothing that's ever taken for granted is, is the success and there's been a lot of that here with NDSU across so many programs especially football what's attributed to that success for so many years coach? Well I think you know, trying to do it the right way um, you know, and I know that's kind of an open-ended question, but finding the right young men to be here, uh, valuing character, valuing toughness, valuing in, valuing intelligence, but also having uh, a consistent program, uh, a consist consistency in how we prepare, consistency in our coaching staff. I think there's a lot of things there that that allow our kids to be successful, to have continuous development over the course of their career. Um, it's fun to see a young man come in as an 18-year-old, 17, 18-year-old, and, and see them leave and see the dramatic change in them, not just physically, but mentally. We'll step aside and take a break. When we come back, more on the Matt Ends Football Show. We'll talk offense next. Teamwork. Talent. Dedication. Leadership. These values that win championships on the field also build community. 
improve lives, and make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, for a better way of life. Gates City Bank. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. <sighs> is on and it's about to get loud For decades, NODAC Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. NODAC Insurance Company, agents with answers. Welcome back into the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz here in this segment as we take a look at the regular season offensive stats presented by Nodak Insurance. And we'll talk offense here in this segment. Uh, the Bison ranked fourth in the FCS this year in rushing, averaging 262 yards per game on the ground. All-American Hunter Lipke, a tremendous force, fifth-year senior with the program. Just what impact and legacy will he leave with this program? Well, he, tough, hard-nosed kid. Um, Really came in as strictly just a just a fullback. Uh, didn't play very much in his first two years here. Uh, played sparingly in 2018 as a fullback and uh, started to, to carve out his niche in 2019. And in the spring season of 21 is where we first started dabbling with him at the tailback position. And since then, he's done a tremendous job of not only playing tailback and fullback, but tight end, off the ball tight end. Uh, he's lined up in the in the slot. So. Uh, a very dynamic athlete, a uh, guy who understands our, our, our system, understands our offense, and um, has been a big part of a lot of the other young players' development, too. Through the air, Cam Miller having a phenomenal season, close to 70% completion, only two interceptions as we head into the postseason. Just how has he continued to grow with this program? Well, he's, he's making good decisions. Uh, he's very intelligent. His preparation is second to none, but I think he's he saw how... Uh, early in his career, a guy like Trey Lance prepared, and so he, he took notes. He, he he watched other good players do it. He's had a lot of interaction with with Easton and Carson, Carson, excuse me, uh, and has talked to those guys about how they prepared while they were here, or, or maybe how they've even modified their preparation uh, now that they're in the NFL. And so he's a. He, He's still willing to learn, and uh, that's 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 always what's exciting for a guy like Cam is. Um, he knows he doesn't have it all. He doesn't want to think that way. Um, he's trying to find an edge every week, and he's done a really good job of continuing to develop. Talking a little bit about the trenches and, of course, the Rams. Those guys don't get enough credit, but they don't seek the credit either, taking care of business in, in every game. Just what has really impressed you about their play as the season has went on? Well, I think it's continued to elevate. Uh, I think you've seen some new names, some new faces uh, that have been uh, put into the starting lineup on the offensive line, but uh, the, the level of play, uh, the production has not 
not faltered at all. Dan Larson does an outstanding job of developing those guys. And uh, I'm really excited about the development of some of our young guys. De Devin Lockerbie, a Max Raider, um, just, you know, Caden Chadwick, uh, just a couple guys that uh, uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with that are freshmen that have come in that are, are starting to kind of come into their own here at the end of the season. Bison ranking second in the FCS and third down conversions over 53% this year. Uh, we know we like to get in those third and inch situations. What's contributed to that success? Early down success, uh, being productive on first down, being efficient on second down, and, and getting into those third and shorts. Um, when you're in a third and short situation, you have a lot more of the playbook to work with, uh, a lot more of your game plans available. Um, you know, the last thing any offense wants to be in is, is third and XL. When you're recruiting offensive players, I know there's some standards that, that across the board remain the same, but specifically offensive players, what are you looking for? Well, it depends on what position. So there's a there's a wide variety. I mean, when you're comparing an offensive lineman to a receiver, it's different. Um, yeah. yeah, there's there's probably not a whole lot of similarities, but um, you know, I think the things that we talked about earlier, you know, character has to be the number one, and I know that's kind of an intangible. Has nothing to do with their level of play, but has to do with their level of development and preparation. Uh, you know, toughness, we're a line of scrimmage based football team. Uh, we feel like we need to win the line of scrimmage. Um, and then athleticism, of course, and that's that's where camps and, and and getting them on campus during the summer months and being able to actually see them move around and, and be able to evaluate their, their, their skill set, their athleticism is so critical to, to our evaluation process. So many components on either side of the ball, your offensive staff, they've done a tremendous job this year. Just wanted to give you an opportunity just to give them a shout out for what they yep. do. Guys put a lot of time and effort in. Um, they're away from their families. Uh, you know, 12, 16 hours a day, and uh, uh, I probably should give a, a shout out to the families uh, because they allow their husbands to to be up here with our with our team of 120 players and pour into those guys every day. We'll step aside, take a break. When we come back, we'll dig into the Bison defense. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. I live for adventure. Whether it's playing professional football or the solitude of being in the great outdoors. Through all my adventures, one thing I do know, life is unpredictable and full of change. Thankfully, some things remain the same. Important things like service, quality, expertise, and trust. From my childhood to today, Shields has my trust because it has been right there with me for all my adventures. Shields, right there with you. It's been said that when someone you love has Parkinson's, you have Parkinson's. The truth is, Parkinson's disease doesn't just affect the diagnosed. It affects everyone who supports and helps care for them. Worldwide, over 10 million people are living with Parkinson's, a neurological disease that affects movement. And with so many places to search for information, it can be difficult to know where to begin. The Parkinson's Foundation has answers. Answers for everyone in the fight. We can help you understand the disease, help you find expert care, give you tips for living a better life, share the latest research, help you find local support, and there's a free helpline you can call. Find your answers and join us in the fight against Parkinson's. To learn more, please go to parkinson.org or call 1-800-4PD-INFO. The Parkinson's Foundation. Better, better lives together. Powerful and playful. Delicate and precise. Bold and carefree. It's the way you move, and it moves us. To deliver care for your whole family, to provide options beyond the expected, to help you leave pain in the past and find your way forward. Orthopedics and Sports Medicine at Sanford Health.
Welcome back to the Bison Football Show. I'm Rob Pip and uh, Coach, we talked offense. Let's talk a little bit of defense as the Bison defense ranking fifth in the FCS this season, allowing opponents just under 300 yards per game this season in, in total defense. And one thing that just really stands out to me is their ability to stop the pass. Third in the league, allowing only 147 yards through the air. Just talk a little bit about that success. Well, we have some veterans uh, in the back end. Uh, we play a number of people. Uh, it's fun to see you know, at the safety position. Uh, you know, both are, you know, Michael Tutsi, Dawson Weber, Dom Jones. Dom Jones has filled in a lot of roles for us this year. Um, really become that kind of that Swiss Army knife of the of the defense. And then, you know, we've been able to play a number of different corners too, which, you know, I, I know at times is, is tough for young men to, to understand, but giving us that durability, giving us that that keeping kids healthy is and for long seasons is is what's so critical uh, and why we've been able to play so effectively late in the season. But um, I think just the, the continuity that group has has been has been really good. And then Coach Morgan, Coach Walker do a great job of just coaching the fundamentals and getting our kids prepared schematically. Looking at some more defensive stats pre presented by Nodak Insurance, Code Green also holding opponents to just under 18 points per game this season, ranking fifth in the uh, in the FCS. Just how has that continued to develop and grow for your program? Well, that's that's the number one stat that I'm ever worried about. You know, defensively, it's just points allowed. Um, you know, all the yards in between. The uh, you know the coming out area all the way down to the red zone mean nothing if they don't score points and so um, you know if we can keep people out of the end zone or force people to kick field goals we're always going to have an opportunity to be successful on any given Saturday. Kind of the same that we talked about on the offensive side, the trenches on the defensive side. Talk a little bit about their role and just how they continue to be so excellent at what they do. Well, you, you know we've 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 battled some injuries uh, on the defensive line this year, and what you've seen is a, is a, a lot of young guys who were thrust into some roles maybe. Uh, inexperienced, uh, uh, just n their level of play wasn't what we wanted early in the season, but what you've seen of late, you know, Jackson Duton Heifer, Cole Menz, um, you know, Cody Heisman would be three names that jump out. Even a healthy Dylan Hendricks now has been a has been a really a, a critical addition to that group, and you're just seeing more consistent play and and uh, excited about you know getting a little bit healthy this week and, and, and where those guys will be here in, in a week or so. A lot of redshirt freshmen, a lot of young guys, even some true freshmen getting some action this year as well. Just how quick do they have to learn and, and start to grow? Well, you know, the redshirt freshmen, you know, have the they're fortunate to have a full year under their belt, two fall camps. Um, you know, it, it's always been kind of my philosophy that the farther away from the ball you're going to have a, a chance or a maybe a, a an easier chance or opportunity to play early in your career. Uh, I think it's tough being an offensive lineman or defensive lineman to play, especially in year one, where it's such a physical game up front, just especially because of the way we play. Just as on the offense, a lot of folks behind the scenes on defense as well. Just another opportunity for you to talk about your staff on the defensive yeah, side. Yeah, the same thing as I said earlier. Uh, you know, our guys are, are professional. They come to work every day with great energy. Uh, they pour into our kids. Um, you know, they have great relationships with our players, and I think that's something that uh, separates us from other programs. I think you, you talk to a lot of our kids, why did you choose NDSU? Well, it's because of the relationships that I had with the coaches on staff, the guys recruiting me. Uh, it, it, it felt like home. It felt like family, and, and, and all of our coaches do a great job. Well, coming up, WDAY's Dom Izzo introduces us to Cody Heisman. This is Jack. Jack loves sports, and since he banks at Gate City Bank, he can show his spirit right on his debit card. Even better, Gate City Bank will donate $10 to his favorite local school. And when Jack's friends cheer on their favorite teams, those schools receive $10 too. Plus, Jack and his friends score every day with free ATMs worldwide. Now that's always a win. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life.
glad that when someone you love has Parkinson's, you have Parkinson's. The truth is, Parkinson's disease doesn't just affect the diagnosed. It affects everyone who supports and helps care for them. Worldwide, over 10 million people are living with Parkinson's, a neurological disease that affects movement. And with so many places to search for information, it can be difficult to know where to begin. The Parkinson's Foundation has answers. Answers for everyone in the fight. We can help you understand the disease, help you find expert care, give you tips for living a better life, share the latest research, help you find local support, and there's a free helpline you can call. Find your answers and join us in the fight against Parkinson's. To learn more, please go to parkinson.org or call 1-800-4PD-INFO. The Parkinson's Foundation. Better, better lives, lives together. Bison Nation, this is head football coach Matt Entz. With all that goes into leading the Bison to victory, the last thing I want to worry about is the clothing I need to look and feel my best. I shop at Halberstadt's West Acres because I trust that they provide me with everything I need for meetings at the office, press conferences, and casual Bison attire. With plenty of options for sport coats, shirts, denim, suits, shoes, and accessories, I'm confident that when I need anything and everything menswear, Halberstadt's West Acres has... Welcome back to the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz. In this week's Olaf Anderson feature, WDAY's Dom Izzo introduces us to Cody Heisman. Life change for NDSU redshirt freshman Cody Heisman when Eli Mostart was carted off the field against North Carolina A&T. The Pella, Iowa native was thrown to the middle of a Bison defense. We got to keep moving. You know, it's how, how it works. Someone goes down, you know, someone's got to step up and... We're just going to keep playing and play hard, play Bison defense. How about the redshirt freshman from Pella, Iowa, getting thrown into the mix here? There were bumpy moments early on for Heisman, facing some of the best players in the country, occasionally getting run over. Get some playing time, get some experience on the field, and, you know, go out there, do my job like Coach Gazer wants me to do, So, and, you know, just show what I can do. And really, it's that's all I wanted to do, and I got a bigger role to do now, so... Got to fill it in. But as this season turned to November, Heisman has seen his confidence rise, and with it, his play. He attributes that to what he had to go through last year as a freshman. I'm doing scout team last year. It was huge to go against guys like Cordell Wilson, Jay Kubas, who's still here, you know, Jalen, all of them. So that's really helped me, like, see what real, real linemen are like compared to high school linemen. We don't have a ton of guys there. But uh, I, I'm, I'm really excited, and, and you know, the thing that always gets a coach excited is you're talking about two redshirt freshmen in that, in, and everyone, we don't have any seniors in that group right there, so those guys are all going to be back. Any experience I can get on the field right now is, is going to help me a tremendous amount, like just a couple reps here and there, it helps, it helps me learn my job and, you know, see where mistakes happen when I don't do my job and what, do, what happens doing that, so... It's been, it's been good getting on the field a little bit before the game. Just heard about Cody Heisman. How has he continued to grow with this team? Well, being a redshirt freshman, um, again, getting thrown into playing more and more snaps as the season's progressed due to some injuries. But you're starting to see you know, him being around the football. And I think that's always a great indication of good players always end up around the football, regardless of the technique. Uh, maybe the fundamentals aren't necessarily, they might be flawed a little bit, but he's around the ball. Um, his, his best days are still ahead of him. He's only scratching the surface of, of what his play is going to look like. As always, this week's great clip, great question of the game brought to you by Great Clips is from Brad and Bowman. Uh, he wants to know, Coach, what concerns you most when preparing for the playoffs? Oh, just the unknown. Sometimes you, you play teams that you've never played before. Um, and, and so you, you, you think you're see, what you see on film, uh, you're trying to evaluate what's the level of competition they're playing, how good are they. Uh, it, it's totally different than playing a conference team that you play every year. You have pretty good understanding of what their 
talent level is, and, and, and there's some just unknowns. Um, but that's exciting, too. Uh, playing new, new teams, new competition, uh, I think our players enjoy that as well. The regular season wrapped up, Coach. What have you just been excited about? What is really something that stood out this year that you said, man, this has been great this year? Well, I think, our, I think we've seen again that we've been able to continue to incrementally get better. Um, of course, um, we all want improvement to, to be a nice you know, nice straight line. And we've had some dips. We've had some bumps in the road. Um, you know, we've stepped back a step to move forward, too. But I think at the end of the season, we're still playing our best football right now and still have an opportunity to continue to, to elevate our play. Well, Coach, as always, appreciate your time. Looking forward to doing, you know, at least four or five more of these, Coach. Sure, I appreciate it. Once again, that was Coach Matt Entz, and thanks for joining us. You can find all the information about the upcoming playoffs and tickets at GoBison.com. We'll wrap it up, and as always, remember, horns up and go Bison. Today's Bison football show with Coach Matt Entz has been presented by Gate City Bank and Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield.